हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द क्लास गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट योर सेवेंथ नंबर चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर बुक कॉलिंग्स इंग्लिश ग्रामर एंड कंपोजिशंस ऑफ क्लास सेवन एंड योर चैप्टर इज एक्सप्रेसिंग द प्रेजेंट एंड आई एम योर टीचर आ मिस्टर आर एन मंडल सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर्स वी विल एक्सप्लेन ऑल द एक्सरसाइजेज एज वेल एज all the terms and small mm, uh, the notes whatever uh, in this chapters we will explain very well one by one so be with me till the end of the video so that we can understood properly okay guys let's start first one is let's get started write uh, one sentence for each of the given situations a universal truth any universal truth we have to write means uh, that can be known by anyone okay uh, everyone not anyone so like uh, the uh, a universal truth so we can write one sentence uh, like uh, the earth re revolves around the sun okay the earth revolves around uh, around the sun okay around the sun next number second an ongoing action uh, any uh, particular uh, sentence you have to write that is going on at the time means at the time of speaking like we are learning grammar now okay we are learning grammar now guys next number third an action completed in recent past means present perfect tense like she has just returned from a trip to her village she has just returned from a trip to her village from a trip to her village okay guys next number 4 an action that started in the past but continued in the present time okay so this sentence is based on present perfect tense the work that has started in the past but still it is continuing so we have to use have been or has been like it has been raining since last night it has been raining since last night okay so guys this is complete the first one sentence already we wrote a uh, universal truth that is based on your simple present tense any uh, particular uh, sentence that is based on universal truth we already wrote the earth, earth revolve around the sun and uh, such kind of actions are known as or categorizes simple present tense any habitual actions any universal truth right uh, near uh, why very future uh, sentence uh, someone's quality so this type of sentences uh, has categorized under simple present tense and ongoing action ongoing actions we have to write uh, the present continuous tense right it is continuous tense and an action is completed in the pre recent past that is present perfect tense an action that started in the past but continued into the present that is present perfect continuous tense so guys move next tense look at this paragraph mohan loves his grand parents uh, they live in other uh, they live in the other end of the city mohan visit his grand parents every sunday but his sunday he had a special class in school so he missed a trip and he will definitely go next week so the highlighted verb are indicated the time of action they express a tense like so these words are uh, 
the verbs and these are your tense so definition of tense uh, definition of tense tense uh, the tense is a verb uh, verbs indicate present past or future time three kind of tense present tense is in indicating present time past tense is indicating past time the work that um, the work or the verb that completed in the past earlier time and future time the tense also indicate whether the action is completed is going on has been completed in the recent past or whether it is started earlier but has continued into the present time so these uh, tenses are also categorized in different kind move to next simple present tense right tenses are basically uh, three types present past and future but every kind of tenses has also four kind first one simple present present continuous present perfect or present perfect continuous tense present we will explain today in this chapter present all the uh, four kind of present tense okay simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous move to next we use simple present tense and present continuous tense to describe an action in the present time first simple present tense simple present tense is used to talk about thing that happen regularly or universal truth like examples we always uh, we always have uh, desert after dinner or the sun give us heat and light these are your habitual actions universal truth so this is pre simple present tense first one expressing habitual or repeated action is known as simple present tense to express general truth or specific fact that are also known as simple present tense or the sentence uh, is based on simple present tense like water boil at 100 degree celsius this is general truth or scientific fact right any proverbs uh, in hindi it's called muhavare all uh, that glitters is not gold right birds of a feather flock together so the, some proverbs also categorize as simple present tense next one expressing planned future very near the train arrived at 6 am or uh, the uncle retire my uncle retire in two years or the give instructions or directions to someone like drive for a kilometer and then take a right turn any instructions general instructions also categorizes or come under simple present tense okay guys move to next we have to use in simple present tense uh, sometime uh, the form uh, that is is m or r according to subject okay so first a part we will start what is a part fill in the blank with present tense of the given verbs we have to use okay the train arrives in another 10 minutes all uh, the sentence are based on simple present tense the aurora brawls uh, days of the night sky in the arctic regions lights it is your lights next pernes dash water from the wall and uh, dash uh, and dash his parents every day pernes draws and uh, water waters okay guys move to next number four the next season of the uh, the next season of this drama days in september so the next session of drama begin in september okay begins all the sentences are based on simple present tense just you have to use number four uh, five copper dash heat better than iron conducts okay conducts next we 
गाइस नंबर सिक्स डैश वी वेट अंटिल ही डैश हिज वर्क कैन वी वेट कैन वी फिनिश सो फिनिशेस अकॉर्डिंग टू सेंटेंस वी हैव टू यूज नेक्स्ट नंबर सेवन द ओरियन कॉन्स्टिलेशन डैश वॉरियर विथ ए सॉट सो योर आंसर इज फॉर दिस रिसम्बल्स ओके नंबर एट द मीटिंग डैश एट टेन ए एम प्लीज डैश नॉट बी लेट स्टार्ट द मीटिंग स्टार्ट प्लीज डू नॉट बी लेट सो गाइज दिस इज कंप्लीट अप टू योर एट नंबर नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस इट इज वेरी सिंपल प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस इज यूज टू डिस्क्राइब अ कंटिन्यूड और ऑन गोइंग एक्शन इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज द प्रोग्रेसिव टेंस एज इट रेफर टू एन एक्शन दैट इज प्रोग्रेस एट द टाइम ऑफ स्पीकिंग दैट इज नॉन एज योर प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस ओके दिस इज सो आई एम ड्रिंकिंग हॉट चॉकलेट लाइक दैट any action any verb any work that is going on that and it is known as your present continuous tense right continuous means continuing at the time of speaking like to describe action happening at the time of speaking that uh, type of sentences are come under present continuous tense to describe action which have been going on for a period of time but which may not be necessary be happening at the time of speaking number third for action that may take place in the near future that are also come under present continuous tense and the form of present continuous tense is is am are according to subject plus verb ing form okay next guys move to your b part b part is based on your present continuous tense you have to use is mr plus ing with verb like hurry up amit is dash for us is waiting is waiting okay next second number dash i dash uh, junkie today i am meeting i am meeting next guys move number third third number i had to describe uh, disturb when i dash work i had to disturb when i am working i am working okay do you know the boy who dash on a platform by himself who is only single boy that's why it is is standing let me warn you that you dash a mistake that you are making you are making next number 6 uh, we dash for tomorrow's exam we are studying we are studying next number 7 Jubin does the plants. Jubin is puring the plants. Next, guys. Uh, number eight. We does the uh, dug for the cake. We are preparing. We are preparing. As I told you. is all the tenses are means present continuous tense are based on is mr and verb ing form guys move to next simple present or present continuous tense already we just discuss and the different between simple present and present continuous tense like verb uh, first one uh, verb senses such as uh, see hear smell and taste are based on your 
सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस नॉट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस भाव ऑफ फीलिंग सच इज लाइक केयर फियर एंड लव हैट आर ऑल्सो बेस्ट ऑन योर सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस भव सच इज बिलीव एग्री डिस एग्री डिफर डाउट ट्रस्ट एंड सपोज अंडरस्टैंड रिकलेक्ट रिमेंबर मी नो एंड इमेजिन राइट सो दिस आर ऑल्सो बेस्ट ऑन योर सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस भव सोइंग प्रोसेस एंड सच एज ऑन बिलोंगिंग और सम वंस बिलोंगिंग दैट ऑल्सो नोन एज योर सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस डोंट यूज प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस लाइक दैट कम टू योर सी पार्ट फिल इन द ब्लैंक विद सिंपल प्रेजेंट और प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस फ्रॉम द वर्ब्स गिवन विलो वी हैव टू यूज बोथ सो आई डेस नाउ नाउ सो टाइम ऑफ स्पीकिंग दैट्स वाइट इज आई एम वर्किंग नाउ I am working. Okay. Now, in the evening, I dance guitar in a so in a so with a band. So, in evening, I dance guitar. So I am playing guitar. I am playing. Next number second. Mary does orange juice. She always does sums with breakfast. Mary loves, and she always does. She always has. Number third, they are uh, they does the house tomorrow. They are they are packing. They are vacating the house tomorrow. They dash pack in the moment. So they are packing at the moment. They are packing at the moment. Present continuous tense. Okay. Number four. Archana always dash her bicycle to school as she dash nearby. Archana always. Rides her bicycle. It is habitual action, so simple present tense only. Rides her bicycle to the school as she does nearby. So as she lives nearby. Okay. The moon does around the sun. The moon revolves. It is habitual action. The moon does sign. brightly today tonight okay that particular is night special nights that's why it is present continuous tense so is signing okay is signing guys move to next number 6 our neighbor mr sinha does for a jog in the park every day so it is habitual action use present simple present tense goes okay move to Next, number seven. I does. Uh, I does a fever. Okay. So your answer. I think. I think. I does a fever. I developing a fever. Developing a fever. Can't you see Ritika? She dash under the banyan tree. So can't you see Ritika? She she is doing something at the time of speaking. So it is she is reading banyan tree. Guys, move to number nine. Our school annual play is dash at six p.m. Our school annual play starts. Nearby future, so it is present simple present tense. Okay, so it is your starts. Next, my mother, uh, my mother always does to the market herself. So it is always habitual action goes to the her uh, market herself. But today my father, and special day, so it is accompanying is accompanying. is accompanying 
guys this is complete your c part move to next d part there is some error in the sentence we have to correct it next rewrite the sentences after correcting the error there is some error in the sentences means the sentence is written in different kind of tenses like if the sentence is based on the simple present tense grammatically so but the sentence whether the weather is i am hearing that is going to got even hotter your answer i how terrible the weather is i hear not hearing i am you i am hearing you have to cut and you have to write here here the, that it's going to get even hotter my father usually does my father usually is giving me a present for diwali so the sentence is habitual actions always your father is giving in diwali something to you so it is all uh, not is giving not present continuous tense it is gives okay move to next present perfect tense present perfect tense what is present perfect tense present perfect tense is usually to talk about an action completed in the recent past but whose effect still remain in present okay so the work that has just completed that that is just completed is known as your present perfect tense like uh, to talk about an action that has been completed in recent past like they has just arrived you have to use always verb three in the sentence or has or have according to subject okay guys move to next uh, talk about an action that has completed at the time of uh, in the past but whose effect is completion may not be known like i have visited the taj mahal it has started in the past but exact time is not mentioned or known like as uh, so number third to talk about uh, a past action that has some impact on the present okay she has made a tea right so impact is present 
uh, impact uh, means it effect is uh, still remain in present like the tailor has stitch or jacket has stitch okay guys move to next number four uh, to describe something that started in the past and has continued in the present like uh, medha has been a teacher in school for past five years has been you have to use move to next guys uh, the form of present perfect stance is as i told you has or have according to subject we have to use and verb three verb third form ed or en form we have to use in sentence okay move to next e part complete the passage with present perfect tense of the given verbs e part okay uh, so we have to use siamal dash coming to the forest near his and central village has always loved has always loved loved okay uh, for us near the village he uh, does he does uh, many animals here at close ranch and so he has seen he has seen past tense of see is seen animals here close ranch and and uh, does many of afternoons studying flora and fauna has spent has spent s p e n t past tense of spend you have to use has or have plus verb third in the sentences he does some of his friend during summer holidays every year he has also wrote he has has also l s also bring past tenses brought b r o u g h t brought uh, some of his friend during summer holidays every year together they does the area together they have explored they have explored okay the area it is safe because no one does no one uh, does any predators in the area save the old or jackal so no one does no one does uh, has cited has cited has cited s i g h t e d any predators in the area save the old jacket the forest has been the forest has been part of the elephant trail or decades but the villagers uh, but the villagers have always dealt have always dealt okay uh, with sadly now that is unauthorized unauthorized dash to build a road Built a road through the forest. Samal is worried that his beloved hunts will no longer be the same. So have plant, okay? Have plant. So guys, this is complete. Next, your present perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense is used to talk about an action that started in the past but is still going on the time of speaking that is known as your present perfect continuous tense. The work that has started in the past but is still continue in the time of at the time of speaking that is known as present perfect continuous tense. The form of present perfect continuous tense has or have according to subject we have to use plus been okay plus verb and ing you have to use okay guys move to your next last exercise present continuous and present perfect continuous different between present continuous present continuous is the work uh, the verb that is uh, going on at the time of speaking at the time uh, present time and present perfect continuous tense the work that has started in the past but is still continue in the present time that is known as your present perfect continuous tense number f part a part is fill in the blanks with the present continuous or present perfect continuous tense of the given verbs 
एप पार्ट मैरी डैश वाटर फ्रॉम द न्यू वॉल फॉर वॉशिंग क्लोथ मैरी इज ड्रॉनिंग इज ड्रॉनिंग प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस वी हैव टू यूज प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट और प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस अकॉर्डिंग टू सेंटेंस सुजान डैश द लेटर एट द मोमेंट एट द मोमेंट सो इट इज नाउ सो सुजान इज ड्राफ्टिंग Next, the kids uh, dash computer games for two hours now. Have been playing. The kids have been playing. Number four, uh, it dash all weeks in Srinagar. It has been snowing. It has been snowing. Okay. it has been snowing next guys move to number 5 we dash uh, for uh, trisha since 9 am so we have been waiting we have been waiting okay trisha for 9 9 am okay the work that started in the past but still continue what is uh, that sound i wonder if the neighbor's baby dash again is crying again is crying number 7 you look very sleepy dash enough sleep lately have you been getting so have you been getting okay next guys number 8 the math teacher the math teacher dash unwell for the past week so the work that has started in the past as i told you right the work that has started the teacher has feeling unwell from the past week uh, and still continue so it is present continuous tense so has been feeling has been feeling next uh, tulika is fluent in chinese now she does for weekly chinese classes she has been going she has been going okay chinese classes guys next number 10 swetha dash films all day no wonder she can barely keep her eyes open now swetha has been watching swetha has been watching uh films all day no wonder she can barely keep her eyes open now so guys this is complete your uh, app part and uh, this is complete your chapter 7 guys hope you understood well if there is any queries any doubt or regarding this chapter any questions you have to mention in comment box write in comment box okay and if you like the video uh, like the explanations please do like share and subscribe the channel so that we can uh, motivate okay and uh, if you want to explain if you need explanation of another chapters mention in the comment box i will explain that particular chapter according to you in our next video uh, guys till then be happy stay at home see you again in next class thank you